yes. how, how is irrelevant? OK, I, OK, all I'm asking is for some acceptance that in this area we're equal. I need to work on some issues regarding team spirit. I'm accepting that. But you need But to... accepting it is one thing. Doing yeah, yeah, something about it is that, another. Just let me finish my point. You always interrupt. You need to work on your the huge amount of anger in you because it will spoil your life. Forget about... You tell me I shouldn't be concerned with the public, and you're right. You tell me I shouldn't be concerned just about in here that... We're learning in here skills for life. And you're right, I need to learn team spirit skills. You're absolutely right. Well, you don't have to if you don't no, want no, to. No, no, but I should. I should work on them a well, bit. Well, I don't know, you made your you? point. But you need to work on the anger that is within you. Do you accept that? Of course I accept that. I accepted I accept that to Keely this morning. I accepted that to Ify. Of course I accept that. I've accepted that for my whole life. I will always accept something. If someone comes up to me and says, you need to do this, this and this, and I speak to people, I will accept that. I accept what Dave has spoken to me on numerous occasions, and I accept pretty much everything that he says. I don't say, oh, well, I remotely agree with you here, but I disagree with you here. I'm not like that. I don't say, oh, well, Keely, Keely would agree. I'm not like that. I speak to him one-on-one, -on -one, always one-on-one. -on -one. I don't need anyone by my side. He will tell me the problem. I will tell him what I think, and that's it. And majority of the time, Dave is a very smart person. He knows how to speak to people and get things across the right way. And I'll accept what he says. And you can work things out gradually. Today with Ify, I had an argument that I probably... example is when, when, when I got my little newspaper today is my treat and you or someone or Mario asked me to read it out. And I didn't want to read it out because I knew no one really would be interested, but I started to read it and you said, oh, I'm going from here, I don't, it, I'm not interested in government no, and all that crap. Right. Correct. But... Some people could have been offended by that, but I wasn't because you're not interested in that in life. Things that you're not interested. I know more about who's in the Australian government than you do because I'm interested Correct. in it and Correct. you're not. That'd be like me getting the. So that'd be was... me like getting the football results and ringing yeah. them out. And if you left, I wouldn't have been offended. No, I, I know. Knew. But and I wasn't offended. But what I'm trying to say is, I respect that you have tastes and interests that aren't mine. So why can't you respect that about me? Because the the thing that was written on the newspaper didn't affect me. You not doing the yeah, tasks... the outside world affects you, and the government... This, this is what I'm trying to say. You, you, this is the irony. You're having a go at me, claiming that, all I'm, that I'm interested in like playing a game or being part of some strategy here in terms of doing the programme. I think you are, yes. But ultimately, I'm far more interested in the outside world than you are. We're not in the outside world. We're in Big Brother. Yeah, but we're not going to be here forever. Whether That's right. Whether so you in the outside, get, in the outside, whether we get kicked out in a week's time, or whether I walk out the door, you walk out the door, we get thrown out in two months, is neither here nor there. The fact is, you're going to return to an outside world that you have absolutely no interest in. And how's that any relevance to mine and your relationship or the show at all? Because it's pointing out that we have different priorities. I'm more interested in knowing what's happening to my country, whether I'm in Big Brother or not, and you're more interested in winning a task. No, I'm more interested in friends and loyalty and morals. That how can you call people that you've met for five minutes your true friends? Because that's, all, that's right now, they've all I've got. But that's being disingenuous. You all, see, in this area, I'm a lot more honest than you are. All I've got... Because you're pretending you might never see half of these people I'm not ever pretending. again. I'm not pretending to be anything. Sorry? I'm not pretending to be anything. Because all these people, these people that I've got in this house right now, have all I've got. But how without you, without how, them, you may as well walk. How can you pretend that they're your blood brothers, though? You know, you were very, very upset when you had a tip Sa with Josie says last he, week. Says he who spat on his finger and rubbed it with someone else. Yeah, that was a bit of fun. That was a bit of fun. We were doing that to be affectionate. It was a form of affection. So what's your point? I'm, I'm saying that you were in floods of tears the other day. I wouldn't have been, uh, been able to cope in the house if I wasn't friends with Josie, no. No. And that's a weakness you have. Correct. Yeah. And it's a weakness that I'm proud to have. Well, in a way, but... There's no way about it. Well, I'm way, telling it's a you that I'm about emotional it. weakness. It is an emotional weakness, but it's an emotional weakness because I have morals and I have loyalty to people that I consider to be my friends. But do you not think I have morals and loyalty? No, I don't think you have any but morals and loyalty. how can you make that judgement? You can't judge someone's moral fibre by how they deal with a game show. Ben, you just told me to my face that you are not interested in helping in, in doing tasks. You're not interested. No, in I didn't say that. I didn't say I wasn't interested. I said that I'm. You said you're not interested in being a team player. No. You said you're not interested in improving on being a team player. I didn't say that. I didn't say I wasn't interested in re improving about being a yes, team player. Yes, you did. You said no, no, and no for all three.
What was the context of the conversation? Then? Oh, the God, The context man. was <clears throat> that you admitted you weren't a team player. That's you admitted correct. that you probably weren't too interested in improving and you probably never would be a team player. That's oh, what you that said. That is true. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, how can, how can you expect me to look at those miles and go, I'm not yes, asking well done, Benny. At least you're honest. But, but I'm not expecting you to do that. I'm saying that what I don't understand... I don't know. Uh, I, don't, I couldn't really say. Like, he's just like my type of lad. And I think, like, Let's have a moment, when we first went... Does he remind you of... Hey, can you pass me that phone? No, no, don't remind me of anyone. It's just, you know... Um, mm. Just cut out your emotions. Because I can picture your Alec being a bit like that. Yeah. No, no, not oh. really. No. Okay. Just like proper like lads. Lads, lads. Lad. Lad. Yeah. yeah. Um, nothing. It was it, Nathan. No, it's nothing like Alec. Um, and I don't know. Like I don't know when I first. Like I don't know. It's not like I think. Oh, it's fucking well drop dead fit. Mm. But then all of a sudden, like when I thought of whites, and then I did think he was. You know? Yeah, because as soon as you like someone's personality, they automatically become more attractive. See, it makes me laugh, like, just right? saying it, but then, like, I'm probably making the biggest dick of myself when he's out there, probably, like, in bed with someone now, like, that's embarrassing now. I'm going, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Don't even have a shower and he's thinking, hey, get over yourself, you little no. dick. No, I reckon he'd be waiting for you. Mm. Oh, my God, no way, would <laughs> No, it? I do, too. Don't make because me Because I laugh. had a funny feeling about well, this. Well, obviously, you got to I knew there, this was... Yeah. Like, uh, it, it comes across to me that, you know, you, you're in your apartment, very drunk. There's... <laughs> Those trousers do fit you. I know, but they're just... How's the belt holding up, Katie? Pardon? How's the belt holding up, Katie? <laughs> Not great. Oh, Not great, sorry. They're just there, you know? No. Any more pottery and they won't go around my ankles. You know what, actually, on my shots I have an adjustable belt that will go to all sizes if you would like that. That would be tremendous. Well, all sizes, all sizes. I'll fix that, <laughs> that one for you later. Thank you. <laughs> I fox in the <laughs> Actually, it goes with the colour as well. Oh, it's like yeah. a chino. It's a chino. It's a chino. Yeah. Yeah. It says it's on the back pocket, darling. Yeah. Yeah. Is chino <laughs> the mate, the style? Chino, yeah. Or is it the mate? That's what they are, chinos. Oh, no, but yeah. is it the yeah. style? Is it like saying harry, like a harem fan? Yes, no. um, yes. Or is it the make? No, no chinos. chinos. No, no, I think chinos are like the word for these type of pants. Right. But it's not the make alcohol. of them. Right. Yeah. I used to wear chinos. If I chinos sit here, I would just drink all chinos. of this alcohol. Chino isn't like... Like that's the kind of wine I am. Is she you know, like a mixture of something and jeans? That's the kind of long right. route I am. How many do we have left? Yeah, there's three in the freezer yeah. chilling right. now. Chino. Yes, I get it. I used to have loads of chinos when I was a teen. A young teenager. Mm. Chinos was in those. Put your chinos on. Large base chinos and large wallet jumpers. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And broke. I'm just quite partial to a chino. And broke. I've heard of this style yeah. before. It, they're quite soft, these jumpers. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not taking the piss, I'm, like I'm saying in general. Yeah, no, no, okay. Check first. They're Check nice first. jumpers. Yeah. They're very nice jumpers. They're very soft. They are very soft. They, you know. I have a green one. No Primarchy here. Toad, Toady. Oh, Toady over here. Very well, Primarchy, yeah. Feel. Feel the blend of the wool and the cotton in those jumpers, darling. Very well, we Primarchy. I don't think so, darling. I, I really don't think so. What, what are you considering as Primarchy or not? These jumpers, well the blend. Mm. They're very smooth. They're very. They're too nice to be. I'd hear you what the shirts are definitely not Primarchy, aren't they? Oh, I think they're Marks. Cedarwood. Cedarwood. What the hell, is Cedarwood? Cedarwood is a Primark. Yeah. You see, uh, uh, Cedarwood State. Oh, well, Primark. Uh, Thank you, brother. I knew that, but look, when when you had a headache and you were feel, feeling ill, and jo you and Josie had your big row, you got upset because she wouldn't leave you alone, correct? And you were having a lie down here. I remember because I yeah, was had a headache, yeah. And she wouldn't leave you alone. What I'm trying to say is that hut is empty. Most of the time, it will be empty now. Occasionally, <laughs> occasionally. 
We can I can I say, the, Ben? Yeah. I, I I know you've needed personal time, and I've wanted to spend personal time with you. But what John is saying, one 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 thing is right. We are living in a community, yeah. and the thing is, there is like more of a closeness between certain people. Like I've encouraged John to become more involved in the group and to spend more time with us yeah. because. You know what I mean? I don't want to. Well, I, I wouldn't like to see Josie leaving in. and see him. You know, I mean, be left with nothing. So I've been yeah. encouraging him to get more involved with us. Yeah. So that's all he's doing. Yeah, in no, that no, I understand that, but all he I... doesn't. He doesn't realise that you're going through stuff and that you want to spend time personally with me. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I agree with that. But but it's not like you guys were in the hut already and we came in. It was like we'd be in the bedroom here, all of us, and. Dave would say to me, oh, fancy a walk to the hut. And I thought, great, I can have a few minutes just to talk to him in, in private on my own. And you know I... But that's the thing about this house, Benny. There's no yeah, thing but, as private. Yeah, but why would you... But that's what I'm trying to say. Then that's insensitivity, because why would you... If you could see someone who was upset and just well, wanted to go a little... But uh, he 